Even in this day and age, people don't believe social media is a real job. However, you can make an incredible living from it if you get it right. Earlier this year, I sat down with two of the smartest creators I know. They have a combined following of 42.5 million across all platforms. And in the last three years alone, they've racked up 29.3 billion views. And they've done it all by making content like this. Over eight years ago, I took a chance and made some fun content with them. And since then, they've gone to take over the world. So today I wanted to pick their brains and find out their secrets. Average lifespan of a creator is one to two years. There's enough success to go around in the world for everyone. How they handle success. When we make money, it gives us opportunity. That first million yeah. was probably the biggest pinch me moment. And what they think my next step is. I think next is Netflix for you. Oh, I don't know, I hope so. Yeah, I'd love that. Any of you followers who are watching this piece of content now, you're following an app absolute legend and a lovely, lovely person, more importantly. Yana Mice, baby. Let's get up close and personal with my friends, Woody and Pliny. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, I like, I'll tell you what, though, I like the, the way he puts his knee down and this, and now they're all right. <laughs> but anyone could have just done that. No, he's got to no. do like, the stretch as well. <laughs> Stretching it's his like arm string. It. <laughs> you know, it's the voice changed as well. Is it right, everybody? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crocodile. Right, anyway, we're doing this. Right, so I'm here with Woody and Kleine. They're sitting the right way around like Ant and Deck. Yes, that's it. Correct. We go back a long, 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 long way. How many years do we go back? Oh, God. Too long. Yeah. Ten years. It's be ten years. Best really. part of ten years. Isn't ten it? years. So when we met and we were doing stuff together early days, you were you were about football, weren't you? Yes. You were the football guys. Yes, we were the football guys. Football freestylers, tricksters, all sorts, doing the keepy uppies. That's <laughs> it. And we've even got videos where you came to Yanomai's. Yeah. We shot me kicking a ball over my Lambo into a bin. Yes. A stick it in that old thing. Stick it in that old thing. Yeah. Okay, the yeah. classic. <laughs> okay. And then we've got you on the roof of my car. Doing, what do you even call them? Soul juggle. <laughs> yeah. Like that. He was doing them up in the air on the roof of my car. Possibly one of the scariest points of my life. Yeah. Because if I broke any of those panels and those, how much were those pieces the, of glass? The, the on back my car? glass was about 10 grand. 10 grand just for that. I don't think I could have afforded it. You didn't have 10 yeah. grand. No, no, I didn't have 10 grand. <laughs> they didn't have 10 grand. Didn't yeah. have that. that would have been an expensive shoot, that one. <laughs> That's it. And then we done loads of other skits, like the Superman one where you're running down the side of the yes. car. That was like your early days of trying to do comedy. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, why did you go from football to comedy? Go on, Clive. Well, it was a decision we made, um, obviously, like 10 years ago. And it was a tough one because we were so known as football freestylers. Yeah. We went on Britain's Got Talent. That's where we kind of got a, our first little bit of success yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we know there was more longevity in just the entertainment room. We knew there'd be a time with football that we couldn't kick a ball anymore. Um, I also had a bad back injury as well. Um, so it was one of them ones where it was like, look, if we, if, if, if we leave it too long, there's gonna be a time where we can never lose that tag. If we do it now, it's still the early days. We had around 15,000 subscribers. Now- 15,000 subscribers, yeah. That's yes. all they had 10 years ago. That's, all, that's, that's one it. One five, not five zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One five. One five. We're like, <laughs> let's do it now. Do you know what I mean? It was a risk, but you know, you've got to take risks in life. And we're so pleased we've done it. We look back at it now and it's probably one of the best decisions that we ever Definitely. made. Were you scared? Yeah. Yeah, it was a scary time because yeah. we've got we've got to a position where we started to make some money from the content that we were making, but that content was like football, football. sport, comedy content. And then to change direction completely, drop the ball and move away from it, it was a big risk. You weren't just doing content though, were you? You had you had a business, did you have, was you working somewhere? Yeah, we we're both sports coaches. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. used to say we were like professional shoe lace tires because okay. like you'd go and teach these kids because it was like primary schools right so kids under 11 and constantly just tying laces day in day out it was amazing but when it's really cold it's horrible tying kids laces imagine that tying laces like, like cleaning the boots yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like little schoolboy. Yeah, yeah 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 and then you're like right, okay we're gonna go ham on content yes okay yeah. and you approached me Mm. And you said to me, do you fancy shooting something together? Yeah, so just yeah. for people at home that don't know how far we go back. I mean, look, we reached out to you, Jan. It was like, you weren't the first person we reached out to. There was like a lot of creators and what have you. And one of the best ways to help yourself grow would be to collab with people. Yeah. So naturally, we're new in this game. We're thinking, right, 
let's go and hit it hard. Let's try and collab with people. Uh, so we reached out to so many different people that, who, who would have been in our field, who we could have definitely have like worked with to kind of uh, help us grow and so on. And everyone just gave us a fat no. Um, what, just straight no? Yeah, yeah even, just like, even friends, even friends that had big YouTube channels yeah. said no. Yeah, a lot of people who you'd think would want to give you a little bit of help and what have you. But anyway, look, cut long story short, um, we reached out, you as one of, one of the people that we did reach out to as well. And you were the first and probably one of the only collabs that we ever had. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, this is history. Yeah, that's it. No, but like, do you know what? I know, and I know we laugh about it and what have you, but like, that, mean, that meant so much to us at the time because we saw you and the, the level you was at and uh, the followers like you had and the size of your channels at that point were like so far out uh, way in the distance compared to where we were yeah. um so it was something which was like um yeah it meant a lot to us because like you were that much ahead of us you know so we really appreciated it and you gave us a time of day when people didn't i think that really shows the type of like person you are as well yeah. do you know what i mean because it'd yeah. been so easy for you to just be like no they want 15 fact what am i going to gain from this yeah. but mm. the fact that you said yes didn't just film one video of us filmed like 10 yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we were just like blown away by that and it's something that we'll never forget and you know always I remember, remember the, con the conversations you know? it was like what do you want to do what do yeah. you want to shoot and we was like like we was like these are the ideas blah, blah, yeah. blah. and you was like look you've got some cool ideas some cool concepts let's, do it. let's have some just fun it, yeah. that's what um, i like about you're quite rago with that sense yeah, aren't you? you're like know. let's just let's just f shoot cool. yeah, that's how it should be i think i think people try to format everything too much. And I think you guys were, were trying to grow. I liked you guys, I liked your content. I thought, you know, what, what's it gonna hurt? And as I said, it's that, yeah. if I'm gonna try and dim your shine, for what reason? We're not doing the same thing. There's no, there's no conflict of interest. Exactly. Let's just work together and see what happens. Yeah. And yeah. you lot of, <laughs> what you lot have become now, like literally, I'll, I'll be honest, and, I, and I'll put this on camera. Me and Woody speak, um, and I will call Woody and I'll ask for advice and obviously then we'll speak to Kleine and I said, so them, them not are killing it in, on Facebook, on YouTube, on TikTok. You know, let, let's just throw some numbers out there, yeah? Let's just throw some numbers. Let's be, let's be straight, yeah? You can go Instagram, how many millions? 4.7. TikTok? 10.5 million. Facebook? 12.1. 12, 12 million. And YouTube? 15.3 million. We've got a, a wait, best yeah, part. Can I just say... Wait, 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 just take a moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll give you a better stat. <laughs> wow. He's going to go and then views. So in 2021, yeah. we did uh, 9.9 .9 billion views. In 2022, we did 10.3 billion views. And in 2023, we have done 9.1 billion views. Yeah. Across platform, obviously. <sighs> But do you know what? Like, in, in all seriousness, we do have to pinch ourselves. It's only like, about even with, even with the, the followers. World, no, no, be, <laughs> be humble. Be humble. Be humble. <laughs> Don't be humble. No, in those numbers. I wouldn't yeah. be humble with those numbers. <laughs> no, but we, we, I think we've just got the mentality that, you know, been in the game 10 years now, but we're always working like we've got zero subscribers yeah. and getting no views. I think as soon mm. as you get to that point where you feel like, you know, you've done it and you've accomplished it all, yeah. then it, it will just stop. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that we just need to keep grinding like we, we've got. Yeah, don't get above your station. Exactly, Make sure you keep yeah. your feet grounded and remember the things that got you there in the first place. That's why it's so nice. Like we, we, we said yeah. this before, weren't we, about the fact that you reached out and he's like, look, I want to come down. I want you to give me some pointers, this, that and the other. And I was like, I've waited for this day for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. To repay me back yeah. to yeah. the fake you. A hundred percent. And I was like, to Kleine, I was like, look, Jan wants to pop in. And he was like, yeah, when's he coming? Do you know what I mean? Man, and I do appreciate that. I've come with my team as well. Yeah, and obviously yeah. we're shooting this video with you guys and we've, we've learned so much today. Mm -hmm. We've learned so much today. I just want to quickly just go back. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you guys said that I worked with you and no one else would. Mm. Since you lot have become monsters on social media, has any of the people that you wanted to collab with hit you up and said, let's do something together? It happens all the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. No way. For sure. Yeah, it has happened. For yeah. sure. And yeah. what do you do? Do it. I mean, you that's do the it. right thing to do. Yeah. That's the right thing to do. Do you know what kill I mean? Them, kill them, kill them with a yeah. smile. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that, like, we always say, we was even chatting about it earlier, wasn't we? Like, there's enough success to go around in the world for everyone. There's no yeah, competition. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Especially if it's not even in the same genre. Um, so even though they, they didn't do it back then, we're like, do you know what? Maybe it wasn't right for them, you know? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. now is, is the right time. Let's do it. Let's shoot content. Do you ever pull people up on it, though? Do you ever say to them, no. we're happy to do it, but just remember, guys, no, or you just no, be no, like, right. nah, you know what? They know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Oh, it's unsaid, it's unsaid, <laughs> yeah. it? They know. Yeah, yeah, you, they yeah, know. They know. Yeah, they yeah, know. yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 
No names. No, no names. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. So we've been in your house today. This is the whack pad. Yes. So this is a house that you've turned into a a studio, a content creation building yeah. hub. Mm -hmm. um, and I've met the team. So obviously your manager's here. You've got videographers and you've got just editors, editors and, and just people coming up with ideas and. Yeah. I've seen so many videos online and now that I'm here and we're walking around and yeah. you've got like the toilet room and yeah, yeah. where you shoot content. Oh, it's just, it's just mad. Yeah. Who came up with the idea of doing a house and then just having everyone? Because this reminds me, you know, like the Sidemen where they, they all lived in one house and they're all the people, then it's easy to shoot content because you're here every day. Yeah. Yeah, Whose idea yeah, yeah. was it? Do you know, I think it was always a vision to do it, wasn't it? It to was, have, yeah. Like, to have a house and a base to work from because we just felt that you're just so much more productive when you're all under the same roof. Like rather than like, there's so many times where you have editors they're working off site. You send them the footage, then they want to send you to show you what uh, what they've done, what they put together, and then you've got to send it back with your changes and stuff. Whereas now we just walk next door. Yeah, but also I, mean? I think a big part room. of it was probably um, wives and girlfriends not being too happy with us filming in houses Very good when point. we're like blowing up paint cannons and pieing people in the face and just absolutely like Woody's poor house over the years oh, yeah. has been absolutely destroyed do you know what I yeah, mean I so yeah. it got to a point where we needed we needed to get a base where we could just do whatever we want in here do Imagine you know what I mean like we had literally just redecorated the whole of the bottom of the part of the house so in the kitchen this one no this at, your house. at my house when we're filming obviously yeah. at my place at his and we're in a kitchen brand new kitchen everything clean paint like fresh as you could think of and then we've done this video i can't even remember what it was but it was something with milk anyway milk over the whole Stakes. of the ceiling and it had Smell. to all be redone well yeah it was just all marked and colored and <laughs> like she walks in and i just couldn't look i, couldn't look. I was just like oh my god and then it, and obviously there comes a point where you're like Do you know what it's not fair on her is it and like yeah. it's our home it's our house our home and what have you and it's nice to be able to go home to that and be able to like close the door and work, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you, you leave the mess and the madness yeah. and then you come back in the morning, you're like, exactly. ah, it's okay, it doesn't matter, rather than having someone to clean it up and stuff. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so for people watching at home, there's a lot of people out there that aspire to be YouTubers, content creators, and that want to make a name for themselves, not necessarily become famous, yeah, but try yeah, and yeah. make money online. So a lot of people are about the money. Yeah. Some people want to be famous, some people want to make money, some people want both. Yes. Give me three tips for people at home with regards to the YouTube space, content creation space? Okay. You kick it okay. off with. Yeah, look, it's a, it is a good question, but what I don't want to give you is just those run, and, run of the mill things. Like, yeah. We don't want to say the normal sort of stuff. Find something you've got a passion for, that's a given, do you know okay. what I mean? And they're yeah. the sort of answers that anyone could give. So give but us those little, you, those little nuggets. Yeah, I, um, let me think. So I personally believe, and I know Kleine uh, and Daryl, because from the start, we've always been a team. So like we've always had each other to bounce off of. There's so many different amazing things uh, that come from obviously having a team, no matter how small that team is. But I think that growing a team and having the mindset, because let's face it, you can't just go, right, I want a team and can have one because that's going to cost something, you know, but ultimately you've got to make it rewarding for people so, they, uh, so you can go in that direction. So like Daryl's been a part of this from the beginning and he owns a part of everything. So there's ways of achieving that to get a team, if that makes sense. For longevity. Um, yes. Yeah, exactly, for longevity. And if you want to grow, like cutting away parts of what you do to reward people in order to get there quicker and bigger is, uh, is obviously one way of doing it, you know? So I think having the mindset of always thinking, right, I want to grow a team at some point or in some way. So I think that number one for me I'd as a real that. strong tip would be to, to, to look at growing a team. How big is the team that you have here? Eight, nine. Including you two and Daryl? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then there's like an extended five which don't come in to the office. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Who are so, like externally. So yeah. if you needed another videographer and what have you or editors and so on. Like so it's a big team, people. big setup. Yeah. But you know, we want to keep growing. We yes, don't want to stop. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep going. We've outgrown this place already. Yeah. No, we did after like eight months. We're going to move. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. going to put in these wax slides which took you from one room yeah. into the front room wow. from upstairs. And then we were like, bad idea because we need to get a bigger facility. Yeah. So, yeah. But I think always keep growing your team. Yeah. 100%. So. 100%. Yeah. All right. Tip two? Tip two. Um, I'd probably go with, um, and I don't know if this is a bit too generic, but I think it's really important, especially in this current climate in social media is consistency of posting. Mm. Um, we definitely found over the years, like when we're consistent and we, we set out to like post one a day, 
Um, if we stuck with that, that would just help your channels massively, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is, just that consistency of just posting mm. the platforms love and the algorithms love right now. And we have seen, <coughs> you know, um, over the years when we stop that consistency, our channels stop growing. So I think that 100%, if, you, if, you, if you're if you setting out to do three a week, stick to it. If you're setting out to do one seven a, a week, a month. whatever it is, just stick to that consistency. But are we sticking, because obviously we've got TikTok, we've got YouTube, we've got yeah. Snapchat, we've got Instagram, we've got Facebook. Are we doing one on each platform? Yes, what for we, sure, yeah? for sure. But I'm talking about short form here, because you know, long form YouTube is... is um, so what, minute videos? Yeah, <laughs> short form, you know, like on YouTube, on shorts. Yeah. Definitely minute videos. We're like posting one a day at the moment. Okay. But yeah, every platform posting one a day, but it can be the same piece of content. For us, okay. we've definitely uh, worked out that it doesn't matter that it's the same piece of content. It's all different audiences. Yeah, and, that, and that's something people at home need to understand. That yeah. Just because you've got a million on Instagram and a million on YouTube, it's not the same million. No. Mm. You understand? No. And people don't realise that. And people think, well, if a video bangs on Instagram, well, I've got the same people on YouTube, I won't bother. And it's like, no. And I know that from... I'll put something on Instagram, I might do a reveal, and then I'll put it on YouTube. So I revealed it on Instagram yeah, already, yeah. and I'll put it on YouTube. People are like, oh my God, I don't know. I'm like, how have you not seen that? You're on my Instagram. Mm, yes. But they don't know, they, they haven't even seen it. So some people do not follow you on all your 100%, platforms. 100%, 100%. And you don't, you, you very rarely get comments going, we've already seen this, guys, why are you posting it? Do you know what I mean? If you have posted on YouTube shorts and Instagram, yeah. you don't get that. And if it was the, if it was the case, there'll be a lot of comments being like, guys, stop posting the same yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. definitely I've seen think, it already. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it already. But consistency across all platforms. Do you know what? And yeah. just add into what you're saying on consistency, it isn't, it isn't just posting either. It's consistency in everything that you do, whether it be the type of content that you're creating and the quality of the content. And like, because ultimately you put a video out, which is this sort of quality here, you've got to live up to it now, haven't you? Because all of a sudden you drop down your standards to here, people would be like, well, you've gone backwards now. So you're only as good as your last video is this. Yeah. Sure. So I think consistency in so many different areas and ways. Okay. That's a good one. That is a good one, yes. Yeah, nice one, mate. You're doing all right, yeah? Uh, sorry, did you, oh, feel sorry. Left out? did you feel left oh, out there, Jan? Sorry, sorry mate. I was in my egg. Yeah. <laughs> Third yeah. tip. Third tip. Obviously, we could do 20 tips, but yeah, we're just, we've yeah. just given you okay. three, three key yeah, ones. I'm trying to be really like tactical with what we, what we give you here so you get some really good, strong substance. Um, I'm going to say the ability to evolve and reinvent yourself. Exactly what you two did. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, correct, exactly. So we got to a point where <clears throat> doing social media, I think, we, I think by the time we actually reinvented ourselves and like evolved, we, I think we had about a quarter of a million followers on Instagram. That was our biggest platform at the time. Yeah. We started on Facebook and I think our YouTube, we got up to like 50K. Yeah, but you're talk are you talking about reinventing ourselves later on down the line? Because we yeah, are reinventing just ourselves saying. each year we realized that we needed to make a change because that change was gonna keep us around for a lot longer. It was gonna give us longevity. So every year we look to, we seek to evolve and reinvent ourselves. And that might be a change in the type of content we do, um, what platforms we're using, what we're putting on those platforms and so on. So obviously slightly smaller changes than we did at the beginning, but ultimately constantly thinking, right, by changing our direction and the way we're doing things, it's gonna keep us fresh. It's going to keep us relevant and it's going to keep us in the game longer because ultimately that i mean there was a study there was some sort of study that they did on it that the average lifespan of a creator is one to two years really yeah how long have you been in the game <sighs> over 10 years yeah didn't sound right bro. over 10 years so mm. we're eight years we're we're, yeah. we're above the uh, but, above the average you but know what I mean? yeah you're constantly reinventing yourself you yeah. just launched the new show you know, yeah, like that's a reinvention, right? It's yeah. just like yeah. content, it's not, you're not yeah. doing the same content you was a few years ago. You're no, nah, so we, we were known for rap. So I've, as I said, I've got, I've got a great team. So we will come up with ideas and stuff. So yeah, the rapping was what we were known for. Yeah. But now we can we can evolve into anything. We've got the that's platform, what I mean. we've got the yeah. audience. As long as we're putting out cool content and you, they can see, you can't cheat your audience. No. And there's been times, we used to have a, a series called um, T-Way this week at Yanomai's. And there'd be times where I'd shoot the episode and it'd be amazing, I'd love it. And there'd be times where I can't be bothered to shoot the episode. Yeah. And the audience would be like, Jan weren't feeling this episode. You could tell he just you could tell. be bothered. He didn't want to be there. Mm. And they know. Yes. They, they, know. they know. They know. Yeah, you can't yeah, lie. Yeah, you can't yeah, pretend. Yeah, They're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jan weren't. He, just, he did not want to be there this episode. He don't care. Yes, mm. for sure. A hundred percent. You can't. You, you, I think that's like a really important like tip as well. And I know you said it's like really generic, but just love what like the content you're yeah, shooting. That, that you is know a what I mean? One, it is a general one, but a hundred percent. But also just on that point of um, re-evolving and stuff. I think that 
especially both we've been in it 10 years you've been in it longer than us but your audience is growing with you mm. so getting older you know if, so if they've told you at 15 years old and now they're 25 they're not going to like the same content yeah. they yeah, did 10 years so yeah, to yeah. keep them on board and keep them engaged <laughs> and following you and subscribing to you and watching your content you need to be evolving your content you know and maturing your content for sure What's your biggest pinch yourself moment? That's a good question. Doing the collab with you. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Did. I was just about to say that as well. Great, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now they have killed all my numbers and they're just, I'm, I'm like the small YouTuber. No, you're not. Please, can I, no, can I have not. some scraps yeah. from all your stuff, no, please? No, yeah. no, no. Do you know what? Like, they're... But let's, let's, let's be straight. You've done some incredible stuff, even like from being the jungle, okay, doing like behind the scenes on that. I've seen so much stuff from being on uh, Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, just, yeah. oh my God, there's, there's a million things from, from turning on the lights in yes. wherever the hair was. Obviously, I've been to so much stuff and obviously I'm a fan and I watch all your content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What is that? That was the most amazing thing ever. I think probably for me would be hitting one million on... Instagram because okay. we grew so quick. We, we went from like 250,000 on Instagram to 1 million in the space of like a month. Yeah. It, it went really quick. And I remember sitting, was coaching at the time. I was and outside it took us of five school. five years to get 250,000. Yes, 100%. And then, and then, and then, then boom, a month. switch happened and we were just flying. And I remember sitting outside this school in my smart car and just like, <laughs> refreshing this going up and up hitting a million and literally I was like yeah I was slamming the roof doing all sorts of cooling woody like we've yeah. done it and I think that like that first million yeah, was probably cool. the biggest pinch me moment you know it, every million we've had after that has been amazing hitting 10 million on YouTube has been amazing but that first one million on that platform it's the hardest thing to hit it, it was probably the most special special yeah it? that yeah, moment you're like know. oh my god this this is working. This is this is great. Still working full time job at that point. We were still coaching when we had a million followers on Instagram, and you know I was in this smart car, celebrated, and then went in and done a session teaching football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing you know shoelaces what? up. You again. know what? Yeah. When you walked in, I've there. got a million followers. Oh, one million I'm now. not tying your shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, that that definitely for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know about you, Woods. To be fair, like you probably hit the nail on the head with that one. I think that. There's so, been so many amazing things that we've managed to do and achieve and like the amazing things that social media has, has brought, you know, it, like, I mean, you experience it yourself, you know, it gives us a lot of opportunity, right? Uh, meet some incredible people uh, and so on. And we've we hit some amazing landmarks, like hitting the temp over 10 billion views in a year was huge, you know, it was massive. Uh, hitting 10 million on, on YouTube, because it was always a dream to just get a million, you know, and to do that 10 times over and get the diamond play button, absolutely huge. But honestly, like, and this sounds really bad, but I couldn't tell you where I was when we hit 10 million on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube I could because we was upstairs and we was all doing it together as a team, what have you. But when we hit a million, just one million on Instagram, I know exactly where I was, what I was doing, what happened afterwards, the phone call I had with him and him. And then like they were blaring like Millie. It was Lil Wayne, didn't it? Lil Wayne down the phone. Lil Wayne with Millie. Oh, Millie, Millie. 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 Yeah, yeah. And, we, and then, yeah, I, and, and it was so special to hit that first million. It was, it was, a, it was an unbelievable thing to see that M come up on that refresh. Do you know what's weird? I can't remember my Instagram, even though I know I went to a friend's house and they'd done me a million cake, but with my YouTube, and it's on YouTube, is where I was with both my boys and we're watching it roll down and it yeah. was like 990,000 and it was like, dropped down by 300. I'm like, what? No. And it dropped down more, dropped down more. I'm like, these are just, I'm following me now to make sure I don't hit it. Yeah. And then when it hit the one million, I remember both my kids were there and they'll jump like, yeah. Oh my that God. was like a wow, pinch me moment. Yes. That was a real cool moment for yeah, me. Yeah, it was yeah. like, um, listen, a million now, we take it for granted. Listen, I've only got two million on YouTube because so I've got a million on Instagram, but we take it for a little bit for See, granted. We've had it for only so long. Two million. Yeah. Only it's two only million. compared to you lot, but, I, no. but that's what I'm saying. We take it for granted, whereas other people are like, mate, to have a million, because we've had it so long, but people hitting 100,000 nowadays, I see people saying, thank you, I've hit 100,000. And it's, it's incredible. It's and it's yeah. not as easy. As, it's not as easy now to hit those numbers as it was back in the day. Because when you would do a collab, people would really flock and support and, and follow someone else. Nowadays, it's not as me saying, oh, go and follow Woody and Kleine. Yeah, Social media their is content. saturated now, Do I like it? them? This, uh, actually, I do like them. I am going to follow them more. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to bother looking. For sure. So yeah. it's, it's a lot difficult. It's a lot harder. Do 
people take you seriously, like your friends and family? Because you are jokers and, and the content you put out all the time. Mm. Do they take you seriously? Uh, I don't think they did. <laughs> they definitely didn't. In, in terms yeah. of like social media, like putting the type of content we do, in terms of choosing to go down this route of social media and quitting our full-time day jobs, that wasn't taken seriously. Were they like, what are you doing? What are you don't doing? You've got a business, you know, you're, yeah. you're coaching, it's a good job, blah, 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 blah. You love football, you've been in football your whole life. Like, don't do it. Um, so in that sense, no, it, w it wasn't taken seriously. And definitely was trying, I, was, I definitely know, like even I was speaking to my mum, she was like, what, are you sure you want to do this? You want to go to social media full time? Are you sure? I was like, mum, trust me, we've got a vision. We believe in ourselves. It's going to be big. Um, and, you know, fast forward to now, I think it, friends and family definitely take it a lot more seriously. I think it's starting to... But they understand it now. I don't think they understood yes. it. More people understand social yeah. media. In the yes. early days, our parents didn't it. understand it. And, and it was, no, it was the unknown, but for us, we were in it. But yes. People just like social media, like how are these people, this, mm. this 18 year old earning yes. half a million pound a year, like what the hell, playing computer games or throwing stuff at a TV screen and breaking it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. the early days of people like KSI and stuff like yes, that. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Where it really clicked for my dad was when we turned on the lights for our local town centre. The one I came to. That was the second one you came to. That was the second to. one, yeah. yeah. So did the first year. But when we done it the first year, it was, um, well, you saw it what it was like on that day, right? It was mad. It was double, triple that. The first year, the first year. Yeah, yeah, it really? was like yeah, off the chain like that. I mean, that was big anyway. Yeah. But this was like something else and what have you. And we were coming through, and he came to just watch it all unfold. Didn't know what he was expecting. To be fair, he just thought we we're just doing it for the town, what have you. But he was he brought me to one side. Now this sounds a little bit maybe over the top, but he was like. I mean, I lived through the Beatles. That seemed like something like the Beatles were written through. That. <laughs> and I was like, we did that to you know as well, right? And I was like. Brilliant. And, but I think it, it's from that night, it really clicked with him because he really got the magnitude and he could, he could see it with his own eyes. Like when you've got it on the phone and it's just views and just likes and just comments, however many are there, it's all behind a screen. You don't see really like the magnitude to that. You know, when you think of if 90,000 people watch a video of you, like we would turn our nose up at 90,000 people watching, right? You go to uh, Wembley Stadium and look around that stadium, which holds 90,000 people. So That's true. a lot of bloody so people. True. No, and so then true. We're, and we're screaming, pulling our hair out because our last video only got half a million views. It only had 500,000 people. That's five. That's us. Over yeah. five of Wembley, Wembley Stadium, Stadium. You know, I That's know. huge. Just watching your stuff as soon as you uploaded yeah. it. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think he kind of got it from there. I can relate to that because, yeah. like, obviously, I'm not always out with my mum. Like, my mum's at yeah. home. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You're out. You're out. And there's times where I've met my mum and they're like, oh, can I have a picture? My mum will be like, they're like, oh, they like, they they know who you are, hey. they recognise you. Yeah. And then my mum will be out and she'll talk and she'll be like, oh, that my son, he's into cars and he's, he does like the rapping. They're like, oh, well, like that Yanomai's guy. She's <laughs> like, oh, that's my son. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. oh my yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then people send me DMs and I met your mum. Oh, oh yeah. my God, this, that. And my mum was like, yeah, people were like talking to me at the club or wherever I was. Or whatever. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It's, 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 it? it's mad surreal. For, for parents that are older and they, it's, it's uh, it's a, it's a different it's a different feeling, different world for them. Yeah, for sure. sure. Okay, and for, for them sure. to be out and about and be like, oh, what, my son's famous? Yeah. Right. yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Because to me... That's just Yanni. And, yeah, and fame is <laughs> yeah, weird. Yeah. Listen, I, I, yeah. I always look at fame and I know the world's changed. I think your David Beckham's, your, um, your Beatles, your... Um, oh, my God. Your 50 Your you're, you're 50 cents. Your big football players, your big musicians, your big actors, they're famous. Isn't it weird that we're famous for social media? Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we're we're classed as famous people. Yes. Is it it's a weird it, it is weird. It's weird when people yes. say, oh, you're famous, like you're really famous. I'm like, okay. And she'll be honest, yeah. I felt <laughs> took a while to get used to. It took a while to get used to and mm. I felt it was a cheat for me, whereas <laughs> I didn't genuinely believe I was famous via social media. And the only time I felt that I had that proper stamp was when I had my TV show. Uh, really? And then I thought, yeah, you know what, actually cool, I can yeah, be classed yeah, yeah. as famous now, I was rather you than that. some YouTuber. Yes. Yes. Right. When you're on okay, TV, yeah. as much as TV yeah. doesn't do anywhere near the numbers no, social yeah, media yeah, does, yeah, yeah. it's that TV. I had my own TV called yes. Yanni Supercar Customer. Like, it was yes. my name. That's huge. Yeah, that was yeah, like, yeah. wow, okay. Yes. So that yeah, was my... Yeah. That's, no, that's I can, real I, we completely like... Yeah, we've spoken that. about that over the, over the years, haven't we? It's like we're doing social media. We, we, you know, we'd love to go into TV, in terms of money, it's probably not the better route to go no, down right now. It's better to stay over here. TV don't pay. But that credibility of yeah. being on, on TV is yeah. still huge. So yeah, 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 crazy. But massive congrats on that show. Yeah, no, yeah, thank yeah. you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think next is Netflix for you. Oh, I don't know, I hope so. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd love a Netflix series. I think you know, Netflix, like a little you know, documentary. Yeah, like a little, little while. I, I, I watch, the thing is, I'm, oh, I love TV. I have a big screen in my house. In my yeah, room. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, everything's got to be TV. So Netflix, I love. When they do all these documentaries, like on Kevin Hart, like yes. I watched him on Paul Walker the other day. And things like that. Sure. I, I love those sort of things. Yeah. You and me have different, different audiences, okay? Now, I will get some abuse or some negative stuff, um, and I'm quite ruthless, whereas I don't mind responding to it. And Listen, I'm my own boss, you can't fire me. You know, like yourself, you can't fire you. <clears throat> do you get negativity? And if you do, how do you deal with it? There's always um, a percentage of negativity, and I suppose depending on what you do, what you create, yeah. what you look at. Uh, do, we do <laughs> Clyde so is just there looking at you, smiling. Because like, <laughs> 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 you're doing it quite seriously, but a lot of the time we, we kind of smile, don't we? At it? Like, oh, yeah, we we love, read yeah. it and we kind yeah. of like chuckle at ourselves, the fact that someone's gone out of their day to write something really mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just crazy. Doesn't bother it you? Does, no. Look, we're all human. If it's, it depends what is said, but a Doesn't lot of the me. time it's like, look, someone's opinion, let them have it. And, we yep. gloss and we, if we do reply, we'll just banter back with it. Do you know what I mean? It won't be like, seriously, we'll just have a little bit of banter, engage some more comments. But, you know, sometimes negative comments do help the video grow. Do yeah. more content, and, pe- and then They're you've got the your fans things. that will defend you yes. as well. So people will go in yeah. on you, but your fans will be like, "Oh, the minute, nah." Da, 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 da. And then it's just back and forth. But you'll see one comment with 70, co- 70 like replies to it, and you're like, "Okay, wow, you lot are going in." And then the algorithm thinks it's a good video because a yeah. lot of people are engaging on it, so they push we it out onto, it. onto pro yeah, onto profiles. That's, you know? and, that's, so, and that's a really good attitude yeah. to have. I think yeah. I think it's really cool. Focus on being happy, because ultimately. Yeah, we work hard because we want nice things. Nice thing, uh, like when we make money, it gives us opportunity, opportunity to do nice things and experiences and so on. But ultimately, the most important thing is being happy. All this stuff enhances your life while you're here on this beautiful planet. But just aim to be happy. The most successful person in the world for me is the person who's happy no matter what you've got. All right, so guys, that is Woody and Kleine. Oh, it's been incredible spending the day at their house, learning so much from them and their team. I would say go and follow them on all their platforms, but I'll be honest, everyone follows them anyway, so whatever. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> everyone counts. Yeah, everyone counts. Every They've, got everyone. Count. They've got everyone. They've got everyone. Like, you can't get any more followers. No. You've got everyone. No, yeah, but yeah. all their are in the description. But that is Woody and Kleine. They're my guys. Um, I appreciate you taking the time out today. Thank you so much. To be fair, yeah. I want to say a little something just Thank before so this, this video ends as well. Yeah. We really appreciate you. What you did for us right at the start and what have you when no one else did it means the world to us. You've got an amazing team. You guys are wicked man and you're surrounded by good people because you are a good person so thank you to every one of you subscribers or any of you followers who are watching this piece of content now you're following an absolute legend and a lovely lovely person more importantly yana mice baby let's go okay oh, that was nice man are you-